Hello. Hello and good morning. And oh my God, guys, it's Friday. Yes. That's so exciting. I genuinely have the Friday feeling, despite the fact that I'm not living like a normal nine to five job style life. So that's good. I hope you have the Friday feeling too. Um, today, it is a beautiful, beautiful day in Berlin. Already been out for a little walk. There's little birds flying in the sky, just having a lovely time. So it looks like we're going to be set for a good day. Um, I hope that the weather's good where you are. I know in the UK it's um, been really, really hot. My mum looks like she's been living in Spain for the last few years. <laughs> she's been out in the garden so much. Um, so yeah, I hope that you... Oh. So my internet's being a little bit funny today. So if it's a bit rubbish, then um, I'm really sorry. And we're we're fixing it. We're actually getting new internet uh, next month. So hopefully it'll be better. So bear with me. But I've got a really lovely illustration for us today. It's really simple. You can put your own spin on it. I just wanted to do a simple Friday um, session today. So yeah, that's all really. Shall we spin you? Spin you? Shall we? I don't even know the right word. Transition you to the, to the, yeah, we'll just do that. So here we go. So we have our page today and we have a landscape set up with the widest part here and my pen as usual and I'm just going to start by imagining we're drawing a big heart on our page like this except we're not going to draw the bottom bit we're just drawing the top bit of the heart but it can be pretty much as wide as your page so I'll identify like the center here and just draw the top bit there and the top bit there. So kind of like when you're drawing a seagull in the background of your landscape painting, <laughs> if you've ever done that. And mine are a little bit different sizes, that doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, now with this, um, semicircle bit we're going to continue it down a little bit further about that much further so you've got two hill shapes and now we are going to do a diagonal line that's coming diagonally to the bottom um, right corner here but not all the way so I'm going to do a soft curve and diagonal line like that just about a finger's width or so Okay, now I'm going to do um, a similar thickness here, about a finger's width of this bit, maybe slightly fatter, about there. And I'm going to just draw the same thickness around here, so basically just drawing the same shape coming up and around to about halfway of your page like that. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but this can be a whole, um, a whole shape. So I might leave a little gap here. And then just draw the same thickness. Oh, can't see coming down to about there too. So now you've got two uh, kind of roll shapes, <laughs> one of them overlapping this one. Okay, now this, um, this bit's going to come around out here, and then come back around here. So we're imagining this is coming behind this shape. So it's coming in the same direction. But then it's going to knot itself around here. So this distance is a similar distance or similar thickness coming around. We can draw this bit in now coming around like that. So we've just drawn basically a knot. So then we're going to continue this line as if it's coming in and around here. So we'll just do a little suggestion for now of where that is. So you've just drawn a little knot like that. Okay, now we're going to continue both of these lines to the center bit of these bits, if that makes sense. So the first one I'll draw here, 
coming kind of sloping down and around and then I'm going to do a round like sausage shape and connect these two together it can go a little bit thinner here and the same here bring that kind of down and do a sausage shape at the end and connect it up like that Okay, now I can continue to um, draw these lines coming down in the direction that they are coming, <laughs> like this. I might leave a little gap in this area. And then just draw a kind of smiley face down here. So from there to let's say about here, we'll finish this one off too. And connect these two up. But I want to leave a fair amount of space down here. So a shallow smiley face. Try and connect that up as neatly as you can, but it doesn't matter if it's not neat. You can bring this one down too. And then as we come down here, the shape is gonna get a lot bigger, like almost to the base of your page, um, or it can go off your page as well if your shape is a bit lower than mine. But before I draw the base of it, I'm going to draw um, a finger coming in here or yeah like a finger maybe two three no I'll just draw one so I'm literally going to draw around my finger actually <laughs> because why not get the help when it's there although this always makes your fingers look really fat so self-esteemness don't worry about it oh that's not too bad a bit sausagey <laughs> there we go so that's a finger so I'm just going to copy my nail shape there like that and then I can easily just go my little wrinkle lines or bending lines like that so that's my finger so in case you didn't know guys this is meant to be a bretzel or how I would have said it before I moved to Germany a pretzel either with a b or with a p but in Germany, they're called bretzels. I don't know. I don't know why. Does anyone know why? Um, and often when they're handed to you, they are handed to you in a little um, like paper towel or tissue or serviette. So I'm going to draw the serviette just kind of like this. And this is why I haven't drawn the base, the full base of it yet. And then I'll have another bit where the thumb would be coming behind that you could even draw the serviette on the other side too like that so that is a very weird little finger maybe I'll add another finger actually no how would that be how would that be yeah your fingers would be there I'm not sure guys I'm not sure I'm winging this I didn't plan to put these fingers in uh, the drawing before this before I went live. This is a on the spot moment of, um, that's weird with two, I'm gonna have to put three. On the spot moment of uh, added goodness. Okay, like that. Yeah, that looks better, a bit weird, but that's fine. The thumb would be extremely long in this case, but it's fine, it's fine, it's Friday, we don't care, we don't care. And now let's continue this around. So I'm gonna draw this coming down. And this is an extra big doughy goodness at the bottom section here. So this is your basic pretzel shape or pretzel shape, however, wherever you live. And so of course there's like usually lovely crystals of salt on it in different areas. So I'm just gonna start by drawing my little salt crystals. And I'm not gonna go too detailed today, but I think what I will do is create some shading with my watercolor paints, which you could also do with just your pens. Um, and down the bottom here, it's usually split. There's like usually a, a slice in the dough and then it, it kind of forms this kind of <laughs> shape in the middle here where the dough is kind of like a lot lighter, kind of like a leaf shape down here. So that's my interpretation of it anyway. There can also be splits um, around the whole bretzel. If you Google bretzel, 
And this bit's normally a little bit knobbly. It's like it's been squeezed out of a tube or something. I did once watch a video on how pretzels are made because I love eating pretzels. They are my absolute go-to snack um, when hungry. I mean, they're not probably not the most healthy snack you, one could eat of a day, but they certainly are the most satisfying when you're hungry. I used to always get one my way home from work if I'd been working all day and I was really hungry and I had to cycle home I just nip grab a pretzel and it would give me the energy but I don't know how widely available they are in the UK um I did eat I did have them every now and again from I think like Marks and Spencer's when I was feeling fancy I'd go to Marks and Spencer's and get a pretzel but back then I called them pretzels interesting okay so I'm going to add some shading with my pen but I'm also going to add it with my um with my paint and the shading is going to be like underneath all of the bits so like for example I'll just I'm literally going to draw a line like this and then this bit will be darker and this bit will be lighter same here come come but this, you know, is your opportunity to do your own style. You could you could just be painting or patterning your pretzel with whatever kind of design you want to give it. <laughs> Who thought we'd be designing our own pretzels today? It's a really basic way of doing some shading. And already it looks a little bit interesting to me. Uh, like that you could also add things in the background so I was thinking of doing like the classic white and blue um like deckled uh, Bayern style South Germany uh thing but I don't think I can be bothered to do that in the whole background I was also going to do maybe like some teeth but I thought that <laughs> could look a bit weird I'm kind of tempted to do that though so I might do some teeth coming at it here how would one draw teeth? So this could be really bad, but let's do it. It's Friday. So this is going to be the lip. And these are the big buck teeth at the front. Then the fangs. And then just kind of have it coming off like that. I'm not sure about the... Let's do the, I'm not sure about the perspective here, guys. <laughs> this is the bottom row of teeth. <laughs> and then the bottom lip. And then the tongue. And then the face. And I guess there would be a nose here then, wouldn't there? Is that creepy? <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of that, guys. Anyway, you can add creepy extras or not. It's totally up to you. Maybe I'll do like another hand coming in here because everyone wants a piece of the pretzel as well. I just feel like the background needs a bit of something because it's quite a simple drawing today. And I'm so inspired by your pictures when you send them to me and you've got like loads of extra things going on, especially if you're not painting them, you have a bit of extra time to do your, your added extras. And it's always so funny. So one hand there and maybe a thumb and fingers. Hopefully, at least you're getting over your fear of drawing hands in all of these workshops. Because <laughs> we just go for it here, don't we? We don't worry about what it's going to look like. 
Yay. Okay, I'm going to get to painting now. You could, of course, continue to add loads more stuff going on, um, but I'm going to just keep it basic today. And I'm going to start by just doing a really light uh, application over all of it with this raw, um, raw umber, I think it is, or raw sienna, raw sienna, I think it is. Sorry, paint this over the whole thing because obviously bretzels are generally quite dark brown color. But this is just my first layer and I'm not adding too much water so it should dry relatively quickly. I know I'm going over the salt but I ain't got time to paint around the salt. Are you joking me? I really hope that my internet's holding up. Um, if it's not, then we will form solutions to this problem because these classes need to remain. They are the staple of our day. Get us off to a really good start. We already achieved something so early as well. Okay, I'm leaving this bit white because it is, well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it this color because the rest of it I'll do dark, but it is generally like a lighter color. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the shadowy bits with a bit of burnt sienna. This is the general color of the bretzel. So I could even... I just want to give you the gist of how I'm shading it though. Like that. Like that. But now I need to go in and do the whole the whole thing, this colour. And normally I'd probably wait a little bit and then paint over this, but because of the time, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing but by having the lighter color underneath it gives it a little bit of extra depth which is nice which is good what we want very deep painting this bretzel yes means a lot to us but seriously it is one of the benefits of living in Germany like if you get like you know blunt service from your cashier which you can get everywhere I know but especially as an English <laughs> used to um, like very maybe too stringent manners and then you come to Berlin and people are a little bit more forward you can just get yourself a bretzel and it's all fine a therapy bretzel worth it so while I'm painting my bretzel I'm thinking about the colors that I can use for my background because as you know I don't normally pre-plan uh, my colors too much I'll leave it there and then I'll come back in and do a um a darker bit on the shadows again. So what I'm going to do is a blue and white napkin because um, I don't, are there bretzels from the south? I know that they do really good um, bretzels in Munich at the Oktoberfest. They do. Honestly, I had a bretzel that was literally the size, if not bigger than my face. And I have got a big face. And it's just dreamy when you're two Steiners in. <laughs> you get a giant bretzel the size of your face. It's just like, yes, life is good. So 
soaks up the blues so you can keep on going. So maybe I'll draw this as a, the napkin too because it can't really be the thumb because it's a bit too long. Okay, let's paint these fingers. So let's mix that up. Or maybe I'll paint, paint the, this mouth. The lips. Slightly wrong colour for the lips. I didn't really want. But I'm being lazy today, guys. Right, let's paint these. Reach in for the bretzel, which actually looks like one of the giant ones when you compare it to the size of these hands. Or maybe these are little kiddie hands. I always see little kids um, like on their way home from school and stuff in their, um, like a lot of parents cycle here and they have like little, um, like uh, trailers or whatever attached to their back to their bikes and I always see little kids in them eating bretzels on their way home from school and I just think what a lovely way to um, end your day end your school day I don't remember the snacks that we used to get on the way home from school I don't think we did maybe I'm wrong maybe I've just forgotten But when I was growing up, we used to get home from school at like four or whatever, and then literally just eat dinner almost immediately. Like 4.30 was dinner time. And then you're free to play and do your homework and all of that stuff, you know. I'm free to do what I want. Okay, let's get to this face. Painted. Don't worry if you didn't paint this face, it is a creepy little added extra. Maybe the tongue. And then I'll go in and paint um, like black around. Or maybe I'll just paint it all red, actually. Normally the inside of the mouth I would paint black because it's just like dark, but I guess you can kind of see it from here. So you add that to the lips. Shouldn't really be my focus because it was just a little extra, but there we go. Okay, so now the bretzels dried a little bit in that um, segue, segue in that distraction I can't find my words whenever I am doing these live classes I can never find my words I don't know if you've noticed um, and then I'm like oh my goodness I need a dictionary next to you Ness so this is a dark brown but it's just I guess it's like public speaking in a way you know when you're public speaking you need to rehearse, don't you? Because otherwise you end up doing all the, um, um, <laughs> which obviously I still do, but that's because I don't rehearse. Because you guys are so kind to me. And this is very chill and this isn't really public speaking, but when I'm thinking of words, I can't really f find the words half the time. Anyway. Enough about me. I hope you've all got nice weekend plans. It's exciting, isn't it? It's meant to be 29 degrees in Berlin tomorrow. Um, so I'm sure all of the parks are going to be absolutely packed full of people chilling, which will be nice. We went for a little walk last night and the streets were alive. People eating dinner and drinking outside. Like really busy. Um which is cool. I'm gonna add a little bit of kind of this Indian red color to just make it a little bit more interesting. It looks a little bit bland and boring in my opinion. 
You just turn this into an interesting bretzel. It's like, where have you been, bretzel? Been having a nice time getting a little tan. Feel free to mute me, by the way, if you find my chat boring and annoying. <laughs> Sometimes I say useful things. A lot of the time, I'm just monologuing, you know, which is a skill. Have you ever tried it? I need to perfect the skill. Okay, so that's my bretzel. I'm actually, on the screen, it looks really good, <laughs> in my opinion, compared to on the on this. So now I need to do the background. So what am I going to do in the background? You could do so many interesting things. You could do like more bretzels on, underneath. You could do like loads of different colors. Maybe I'm just going to do like a watery, just be really boring and just do a watery amalgamation of, of different colors. So let's just play with colors, put in a bit of pink because I know that it spreads really easily. A bit purple, because it should also spread quite nicely. And a bit of yellow. Not sure how much that spreads. All right, that'll do. I will wet all the three sections and do it like that. But feel free to do your own thing if you've got a really good idea. And I would love to see them, so please send them my way afterwards. Look at that pink, this Azurian crimson that I go on about so much, but it really loves the limelight. As does the purple, Windsor Violet. Okay, let's do this on the outside bit too. A proper lazy background, my friends, but that's the joy of watercolor is if you don't want to do the work, you just make the paint do the work for you. You've got to work a little bit quickly to get make sure that the the page doesn't dry and that the colors will spread nicely. So let's start with the yellow because it doesn't spread as well. Drop that in. All over. In there as well and then go to the pink. Look at that. Such a dominant, dominant color. So, oh yeah, you need me to do this job? I can do this job. Watch me. So confident, if I was a colour, <laughs> I would love to be like Azurian Crimson. I mean, not all the time, because sometimes it would get exhausting, right? If everyone's relying on you to take lead. But sometimes... Um, got this purple down here. Look at that. We just made the watercolour do all the watery work. And now we have a psychedelic uh, bretzel party. Who knew we would end up with that on our Friday? Well, I did because... I planned it, but I'm kind of happy with that. I think that that's quite, quite fun, making you want to eat a bretzel. The only thing that I need to do is go back in to the salty bits and maybe with my white pen, ta-da. Uh, let's see if I can do some now. Add little white highlights. It's a little bit wet still, so I shouldn't really be doing this, but yeah, you get the gist. If you don't have a white pen, don't fear, you could use um, a white colouring crayon or white gouache paint or acrylic paint if you have it, or you could just leave it. Or you could get a wet, uh, clean brush and try and lift out some of the colour, depending on how good your 
uh, paper is, if you've got good watercolor paper, it will allow you to do that. I'm gonna wait till it's completely dry, otherwise I'll ruin my pen. But there we go, there is our Bretzel uh, drawing. With hopefully you've got some fun added extras going on. I might make the scarf a little bit more pronounced because it's getting lost in the background now, but yay. So I hope that you enjoyed that. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's so, it's so fun, isn't it? Just getting like a really random, simple object and turn it into a fun painting. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. You can write in the comments your feedback, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are into starting your day on a creative foot. I do it every weekday morning at 10 a.m. Berlin time. Um, and yeah, you can also find me on Instagram under Nestas and send pictures of your paintings uh, to me via Instagram. That's the best way because I love to see what you guys come up with. It always amazes me how you follow my instructions and come up with amazing stuff. Um, that's not a compliment to me. That's a compliment to you, by the way. Anyway, have amazing Fridays. Yes, it's Friday. I hope that you have a really great weekend as well. And I will see you on Monday for more RT goodness. And any uh, requests for topics and stuff, just let me know. Uh, because I literally make it up just before we go live. Sometimes the night before, sometimes the morning of. Um, so yeah, I'm open to suggestions. Real time. All right. I'm going to sign off now and stream. So take care. Bye.